After speaking with artists across San Angelo, one thing rings true, that art is a part of the city, both its past and its future. Art is somehow a part of a lot of different things that are happening in San Angelo. Governor Greg Abbott made the designation of San Angelo being the visual arts capital of Texas Monday night. Diane Bays, who submitted the proper work to Representative Drew Darby and Senator Charles Perry, says this all started when she saw many other Texas cities with different designations and wanted one for San Angelo. We are blessed to have the visual arts in our community that we do, and, and we hope that the citizens and visitors will take advantage of going out and seeing those things and appreciating what they mean. Up until Penn hit paper in the state capitol, Bayes says it was a waiting game. And once it passed Congress, she checked on its status every day. I was elated and looked so forward to telling all of those who supported us in our arts. And those arts have been a part of San Angelo's history for decades, such as the Chicken Farm Art Center, which has nurtured the talents of artists like Casey Dilworth since the early 70s. This year we're celebrating 50 years. Um, and some people in the community and some of our artists even, you know, they, they remember, you know, they, they've been here that whole time. For Alejandro Castañon, when he came to San Angelo 10 years ago, he just sort of fell into the art scene. Throughout that decade, he's even opened an art gallery. He credits success to the acceptance within the art community. So that was kind of my experience here, was just like welcoming. Everybody was just ready to like get involved and do something. Becoming the visual arts capital of Texas is more than just a title for Castagnon and Dilworth. It's validation and inspiration. Doing shows and just trying to put the arts in front of the community and get those things to kind of marry each other. It's just validation for all that hard work. A little bit motivating to have that too. Um, so it's, it's part of that validation too. It's like, now, I, now I've got to make art. Now I've got to prove that we are this, you know, now I've got uh, some fire under my butt. And as for what's next. I think after 10 years, we're going to re-up and I have no doubt that uh, San Angelo is going to get the same designation again. Reporting in the visual arts capital of Texas, I'm McKaylin Johnson, KSAN News.